Today's class is, um, this is, by the way, this is Neha and that's Sarah over there. These are my roommates. Um, they'll be flowing along with us. Um, today's flow is a whole lot of shoulder opening, um, a lot of neck stretching as well. Um, I know for me and probably a lot of us tend to hold stress in this area and our shoulders get stressed. We sit like this and, um, just wanted to give us an opportunity to open that tonight. So come to a seat to get started. And I'm just going to go through and mute all of you. So if you do, I, I do want this to be as interactive as possible. So if you feel like at any point asking me a question or saying anything, um, please feel free to come off of mute to do that. Um, but for now, I'm, I'm gonna mute you so we don't have background noise. All right, so once you come to a seat, so it can be any comfortable seat, you can be kneeling, you can be cross-legged, maybe sitting up on a block or a pillow. Try to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose, let your belly, your chest expand. And open your mouth, let it go. Do that again, take a deep inhale. And exhale. Let your shoulders start to soften down away from your ears. And feel just a little bit of a lift in the chest. So as your shoulders relax, your heart starts to lift just gently towards the ceiling, letting your shoulders open. And let your chin tilt slightly downward. Just feeling the presence of your body in this room, in the comfort of your home. And tuning into your senses. So noticing the feeling of the mat beneath your hips or your legs. Noticing anything that you might hear coming from inside your house, maybe the wind outside or traffic noises. And then turn your focus a little more inwards. So just noticing what naturally starts to flow through your mind when you stop to move, when you become still. I'm just noticing the natural processes of your body, your breath, the beating of your heart. And try to relax your jaw, soften the eyebrows. Let's take one more deep breath in together. And exhale, let it go. Can blink your eyes open. You guys can stay where you are. I'm going to turn to face you. On your inhale, reach your right arm up overhead and then tenting your left fingers. Exhale, take a side bend. So reach the right arm over your ear. You can crawl the left fingers away from you and just let that left ear drop to your left shoulder. And then with your right arm, wrap your right arm behind the low back. So take a half bind. Roll the right shoulder up, back, and down, away from the right ear. You might already be feeling a stretch along the right side of your body. 
on the right side of your neck specifically. Now keep your head hanging to the left. You might need to lift up a little bit. You'll take your left hand, lift it up, gently place it on top of the right ear. And give that your head a little bit of a tug, just super gentle so you're finding some traction, opening up the right side of your neck, maybe into the right shoulder. And you might turn your gaze to look down or look up. And just notice where you get the best sensation here. And slowly lift your head back up to center, release the half bind, crawl the right fingertips away from you and lift the left arm up and over the ear. So starting with the side bend, let your right ear drop to your right shoulder. And then half bind the left arm, wrap it behind the low back. Roll the left shoulder up, down, and away from your ear. And just let the right ear drop a little bit more. And then keep your right ear hanging to the right. Lift your right hand up. Place it up on top of the left ear and just give that a little gentle tug. Bring some length into the left side of your neck, into the left shoulder, the left trap. And again, you might look down, you might look up, you might try both. Keeping the jaw relaxed. And then lift your head back up to center, release the half bind. Let's reach, reach both arms straight up on your inhale. And exhale, cactus the arms. Tend the fingers behind you and just let your head drop. If you're cross-legged, this is where you'll stay. If you're sitting on your shins, you might, if it feels good, push your hips forwards and up. Take a breath in through the nose. Open your mouth. Let your hips come back down. If they were up, crawl your hands forwards, uncross your ankles, and come into a tabletop. And here's where we start our music. So if you're listening to my playlist, you'll go ahead and press play, and we'll all start moving from cat cow. Moving with your breath. Might close your eyes. And feel free to add on here. So I always like to say this is a good point in class to just start to explore um, what feels right in your body right now, what would feel good. Not worrying about sticking with traditional cat-cow, you can always add on a little bit. Try to start to find a rhythm to your breath. Eventually you'll tuck your toes and you'll lift your hips up and back to down dog. You might nod your head, yes and no. Try to relax the neck. You might pedal your heels, sway your hips. Walk your feet a little bit closer together. And then on your inhale, reach your right leg straight up and back. On your exhale, you'll step your right foot forward between your hands, tap your left knee down and sweep your arms up to a low lunge. Both arms reach up. Take a breath in and breath out. Cactus the arms, so bend the elbows, lift the chest and then circle your hands down to the floor. On your breath in, lift the left knee for runner's lunge. Breath out, twist your right arm straight up to the sky. On your inhale, reach your right arm straight back. Exhale, circle the right hand down to the floor and then step forwards to a forward fold. Hook 
your right thumb in front of your left here, and then reach your hands all the way up. So pulling the thumbs apart, inhaling at the top. Exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale, lift through center. Side bend to your left. Inhale through center, release the thumbs. Exhale, bend your elbows, cactus the arms. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and then you lean forward, flip the cactus, clasp the hands, inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, bend the knees as you fold forward so your fingers are clasped. You're folding over your legs. Lift your shoulders up and away from your ears, trying to keep your neck relaxed. And take one more breath in. Breath out, release your hands. Step your left foot back on your inhale. Downward facing dog on your exhale. Left leg goes up and back, inhale. Left foot steps forwards, exhale. Tap the right knee down, then untuck the toes, sweep your hands up, low lunge. Think about pushing through the left foot here and then push the right shift down, shin down to lift. Take a breath in, breath out, cactus the arms, bend the elbows and then circle your hands down to the floor. Runner's lunge, lift the right knee, inhale. Twist the left arm up, exhale. Inhale, circle the left arm towards the back of the room. Exhale, take it down, step forwards, forward fold. Left thumb hooks in front of the right. On your inhale, sweep all the way up, stand up. Think of pulling your thumbs apart. Take a breath in. Side bend to the left, exhale. Inhale through center, take it to the right. Inhale to lift, release your hands. Exhale, bend the elbows, cactus the arms, and flip it. So turn your shoulders down, internally rotate, clasp the fingers, and then internal ex <laughs> inhale, externally rotate, lift the chest. Bend your knees, fold forwards, lift your shoulders up and away from the ears. One more breath in. Release your hands, breath out. Step your right foot back, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Right leg lifts up and back, inhale. Step forwards, exhale. Tap the left knee down, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, cactus, sweep your hands down towards the floor. Lift the left knee, inhale. Twist, right arm goes up on your exhale. This time, inhale, circle the right arm back and half bind it behind the low back. And then think of lifting that right shoulder open, lean back and drop your left ear. You might play with where you're looking just to see where you can get the best sensation on your neck, on your shoulder. Take one more breath in, breath out, release the right hand and step forwards, forward fold. Same thing, right thumb hooks, inhale, stand up, side bend to the right. Inhale up through center, take it to the left. Inhale to lift, exhale, cactus the arms, you bend the elbows, and then you flip the cactus, so lean forwards, reach back. Inhale, the heart lifts, roll the shoulders open, Exhale, fold forwards. One breath in, release your hands, breath out. Step your left foot back, inhale, and then right to downward dog on your exhale. This time let's come to high plank pose, shift forwards, inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly. Untuck your toes, hug your elbows in, roll your shoulders up, back, and down, baby cobra. Reach the heart forwards. Get a little bit lighter on your hands, take one more breath in, and breath out to lower. One more, inhale, shoulders go up, back, and down. Reach the heart forwards, try to put less weight in the hands, and then exhale, let it go. Tuck your toes, find your way back to downward dog, maybe through plank or tabletop. Lift the left leg up and back, take an inhale. Exhale, left foot forwards. Inhale, low lunge, arms rise. Exhale, cactus, and then circle your hands towards the floor. Right leg lifts, inhale. Left arm up, twist, exhale. Left arm sweeps back and then half bind it, wrap it around the low back. Lean the left shoulder open and then drop your right ear down. 
You might lift the chin, you might tuck the chin. Just notice where you get the best sensation here. Take one more breath in. Breath out, release the right hand down and step forwards. Left thumb hooks, inhale, sweep up. Side bend to the left, exhale. Inhale through center, to the right. Inhale, exhale, cactus the arms. Flip it, catch the interlace, lift the chest, inhale. And then exhale, bow forwards. One breath in, breath out, release your hands. Right foot steps back, inhale. Downward facing dog is your exhale. High plank pose, inhale, shift forwards. Lower all the way down to your belly, exhale. Untuck your toes, hug the elbows in. Same thing, baby cobra, roll your shoulders up, back, and down. This time, can you hover your hands one inch off of the mat? See if you can use those upper back muscles to squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take one more breath in. And breath out, lower down. We'll do one more. Baby cobra, heart moves forward, shoulders go back. Maybe you hover the hands one inch off of the mat. Shoulders lower away from your ears. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Downward facing dog, however you want to get there. Right leg lifts, inhale. Right foot steps, exhale. Slow lunge, left knee taps, inhale. Bend the elbows, exhale, sweep your hands down. Inhale, left knee lifts. Exhale, right arm up. Inhale, reach the right arm back. Circle it behind the low back, take the half bind. Lean back, roll the right shoulder open. You stay here, or maybe there's a side plank. Step your right foot back over the back. We'll all release the right hand, reach it straight up, take an inhale. Listen carefully. Right forearm comes down, left forearm comes down, you're in a forearm plank. Press your heels towards the back of the room. Think of reaching the heart forwards. Try to firm up the belly. And really focus on that feeling of the belly being tight and strong and stable. Lengthen your low back to the back of the room. So tailbone reaches back. Push your forearms into the floor, take one more breath in. Sphinx pose is your breath out, your hips come down. Push into your forearms, reach the heart forwards. All right, so here's where you're gonna grab a block. So if you're using like a textbook or something pretty heavy, um, I would just not use something and you'll see why in a moment. But if you've got a block or a cardboard box or something um, on the lighter end, you can use that. So come onto your belly. You'll reach your, take the block and place it on your low back, the wide width. Again, if you don't have a block, just pretend that you do. Reach your hands towards the, towards the block and press it into your palms. So press your palms into the block, straighten your arms. If you don't have a block, you'll just imagine you're pushing your hands together. Pull your shoulders up, back, and down. Can you lift as you push the block? Push your hands into the block. Reach your heart forward, take one more breath in. Breath out, release it, take a break. We're gonna do one more in a moment. So we're trying to activate the upper back muscles. All right, go ahead and grab the block. Push your palms together, straighten your arms, pull your shoulders up, back, and down. Reach the heart forward, maybe you add the legs. Legs float up, toes point back. This is way harder than it should be, I feel like. Take one more breath in. Breath out, release it, set the block aside. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Step forwards, exhale. Right knee down, inhale, arms rise. Exhale, bend the elbows. Sweep your hands down. Runner's lunge is your breath in. Twist, breath out, left arm up. Circle the left arm back, wrap it behind the low back. Ah, fine. Stay here or maybe side plank. Left foot whoops, steps back over the right. We're going to lean the left shoulder back, but lean the left hip in. That left hip likes to lean back here. Reach the left arm up. Take a breath in. Left forearm comes down. And then right forearm comes down. Come into your forearm plank. Again, really, really focus on the belly here. Keeping that really tight and stable. 
You're gonna lift your belly button up towards your spine. Take one more breath in. Come into Sphinx pose, let your hips come down to the floor. Take a breath in here. And breath out, come onto your belly. Grab the block. Or you're pushing into the, into the air, I guess, like you did if you don't have a block. And you'll reach your hands forwards. So hands reach forwards, Neha doesn't have room because she's by a wall, so she can maybe do what we did before. Um, if you have room in front of you, so you're gonna grab the block, if you can see it. Um, again, the wide way, push your palms together, you'll straighten your arms, and you'll lift your chest up, lift your arms up. Squeeze into the block, maybe you add your legs. You lift the block a little bit higher. Take one more breath in, breath out, let it go. Relax here, we're gonna do one more. All right, push into the block, lift your chest up, lift your arms up. Can you get longer? Can you reach your fingertips further forwards? Can you stretch the toes back? And now can you lift the arms up higher? One more inhale, exhale, let it go. Downward facing dog. All right, so if you were tagged in an Instagram push-up challenge and you have not yet completed it, you might want to get your phone out because now is the time. <laughs> we're all going to do um, a variation. Oh, you're just going <laughs> to All right. We're only going to do five right now, though. So it's, we're going to start small. So come into downward dog. I have to put on my headband for this. We're getting serious. <laughs> So our first push-ups, a little foreshadowing there, first push-ups are going to be regular, regular old push-ups, so not yoga push-ups, not chaturanga push-ups. So that means your elbows go out wider. So shift forwards into your high plank. And just like we did in our forearm plank, before you do anything, feel your belly. So squeeze your belly up and in. Really important that the core is tight here. All right, so for normal push-ups, it's okay to let your elbows come out to the side. So take an inhale to lower. Exhale, push up, just five. Inhale, that's two. Inhale, lower. Three, inhale, four. One more, inhale, lower. Exhale, push up. Come all the way down into your belly and then push back to a child's pose. So bend your knees and to give your shoulders a break, reach your hands towards the back of the room. Now we're facing them. So the reason why we did all that back body work is because obviously push-ups are a lot about the shoulders, but it's also your upper back too. If you spend some time, and I, I've seen from experience, if you spend some time strengthening your back, like your lats, all the stuff back here, you'll notice that your push-ups will be a little bit easier. Um, and then it's also your core. So keeping your belly tight so your hips don't sag when you push up. We'll work on that a little bit more. For now, downward facing dog. Reach your right leg up and back on your inhale. Exhale, knee into your nose, shift forwards. Stay in your plank pose, just straighten your right leg, take an inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forwards. Tap the left knee down. This time, hook the right thumb in front of the left. Inhale, sweep your arms up. And then exhale, side bend to the right. Inhale up through center. Press your palms together. Exhale, twist. Hook your right elbow, left elbow outside the right thigh. And then press your palms together. Lift your chest up towards your palms. Slowly tuck your left toes. Lift the left knee. And then once the left knee is up, you push the left heel back. Keep reaching the spine forwards. High lunge as you inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, airplane arms, sweep your hands back. And now listen, find that thumb hook here. So hook the right thumb in front of the left, and then roll your shoulders up, back, and down. Pull your thumbs apart and see how you can stretch your chest forwards. Spin your left heel down, release your arms, sweep them up. We're in warrior one. Deep bend into the right knee. Take a breath in. Breath out, cactus the arms, flip it, 
Catch the interlace, lift your chest, inhale. Humble warrior, bow forwards, exhale. Lift the clasp of your hands up towards the ceiling. Done. One more breath in. Breath out, release your hands to the floor. Flip up the back heel, pyramid pose. Step your left foot in and fold over the right leg. Flat back, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Step your left foot back to runner's lunge, inhale. Right to downward facing God on your exhale. Left leg lifts up, inhale. Knee to nose as your exhale, knee into your chest. Straighten the left leg, one leg at plank, inhale. Step forwards, exhale. Tap the right knee down, left thumb in front, inhale, low lunge, sweep the arms up. And then side bend to the left. Inhale, lift through center. Press your palms together, exhale, you twist, right elbow outside, left thigh. Push the palms together, lift your chest. Slowly tuck your right toes, lift the right knee, and then once the right knee is up, you try to straighten the right leg. High lunge, inhale, spin up. Air thin your arms, so sweep your arms back. Lean forwards, hook the left thumb in front of the right. Once you've got the hook, see if you can roll your shoulders open. You'll notice one might be harder than the other. Spin your right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Release the arms. You might widen your feet a little bit wider to make your hips more comfy. Bend into the left knee. Take a breath in. Cactus the arms, breath out. Flip it, catch the interlace, lift the chest. Inhale, humble warrior, exhale. One more breath in, breath out, release your hands to the floor. Flip up the right heel for a runner's lunge, and then pyramid pose, step the right foot closer and lengthen the left leg. Step back to your runner's lunge, inhale, and then right back to downward facing dog on your exhale. This time come to a high plank. So we're gonna do five more push-ups. This time they are chaturanga push-ups. So then the last round, the elbows went out left and right. For chaturanga, we wanna squeeze the elbows in really tight. So on your inhale, lift to your toes. On your exhale, lower halfway, hug the elbows in. Push up. Good, should be inhale, lower. Exhale to lift, that's two, inhale. Exhale for three. Lower, take an inhale. Four, let's do one more, inhale. Exhale for five, and then come all the way onto your belly. Are we breaking a sweat yet? Yes. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna stretch out the shoulders a little bit more here. Take your left hand under your left shoulder. You're on the floor. And then right up halfway. Bend the right elbow so the right elbow is in line with the right shoulder. And then look to the left and you stack your left hip over the right. Keep your head on the floor. You might step your left foot behind you to get a little bit deeper. And come back onto your belly. We'll switch sides. Right hand under your right shoulder. Left elbow bends so it's like a half cactus. Left elbow stays on the floor, look to the right, stack your right hip over the left. You might step the right foot behind you. So stretching out the shoulders and the chest in between push-ups. Come back onto your belly. I feel like I'm craving an up dog. Maybe you guys are too. Let's take an up dog. Push into your hands, lift your chest. And then downward facing dog. Tip the right leg up and back, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot forwards. Hook the right thumb in front of the left. Inhale, high lunge this time, so left knee stays up. Let's side bend to the right on your exhale. 
Inhale up through center, press the palms together. Exhale, twist to the right, hook your left elbow outside the right thigh. Straighten your left leg, push the left heel back, and then revolve your chest up towards your thumbs. High lunge is your inhale, sweep up. Airplane your arms, sweep back, hook the right thumb in front. So see if you can use the hook of your, hook of your thumbs to lift the chest a little bit more. Bring your shoulder blades together. High lunge, release your thumbs, reach straight up. This time, warrior two, spin your left heel down, bend into the right knee. And we'll stay here for a couple breaths. Getting deep into the hips, so reach the arms apart. Press the outside of your left foot down. Turning your chest to the left, you might look over your right fingers. Reverse it, go up and back, inhale. Side angle is your exhale, right elbow, right thigh. Today, left arm straight up. Lean back a little bit, try to lift through the heart. Look towards the floor. Bend a little deeper into your right knee. Half moon, right hand can come to a block or to the floor. Your left leg will lift up. Try to stack the left hip over the right. Try to lean back, lean that left shoulder open. Slowly glide back to warrior two, step the back foot back. Reverse it, straighten your right leg, inhale. And exhale is triangle pose, split the arms open, you might shorten your stance. Reach the right fingertips forward, send the left hip back, right hand down to your ankle, and left arm will go straight up. And today let's wrap the left arm behind the low back for a half bind. Try to lower the left shoulder away from your ear and roll the left shoulder open. You might even drop your right ear down. Reach your right arm towards the front of your mat, so hover. Bend into the right knee, lift up, reverse it, inhale. And then exhale, windmill your hands to the floor and step back to downward facing dog, right back. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left foot steps forward, exhale. Hook the left thumb in front, inhale, arms rise. Side bend to the left. Inhale, lift up, press the palms together. Twist on your exhale, right elbow outside, left thigh. Push into the hands. Straighten the right leg. Unwind, sweep up, inhale. Airplane your arms, lean forward, but reach your hands back, left thumb in front. Just use that bind to get a little bit more open into your shoulders. So pull the shoulders gently down and away from the ears. High lunge, sweep your arms up, inhale. Warrior two, open up. So think about the right foot here, the outside of the right foot pressing down. Then turn your chest to the right. You might look over your left hand. Reverse, inhale. Exhale, side angle, left elbow, left thigh, right arm straight up today. For half moon pose, look down at the floor, bend into your left knee, shift forwards, take your left hand to the floor to a block and lift the right leg up. And the key here is to lean back a little bit. It's more likely than not you're not actually leaning back because it's that action of opening that feels like leaning backwards. Step back, warrior two. Reverse it as you straighten the left leg, inhale. Triangle pose is your exhale. Lengthen the left side of your waist as you come down. I find the right arm, wrap it behind the low back. And then roll your shoulder up, back, and down. Maybe you relax your head, you drop the left ear. Cover the left arm, reach it towards the top of the mat. A 
and then reverse it. Inhale, go up and back, bend the left knee, and exhale, windmill your hands down to the floor. Step back, downward facing dog. How about five more push ups? <laughs> You guys are home, so you can do whatever you want, but we're gonna do five push-ups here. So we're gonna shift forwards. This time there will be there will be wide push-ups. So take your hands off of your mat onto the floor. Five of them. You can let your elbows go out here. Inhale to lower. Exhale, push. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. There's three. Lower. Push up for four. Inhale, last one, here's five. Come all the way onto your belly. Reach your hands towards the back of the room. Pause for a moment, you might sway your hips side to side. Um, and by the way, I really should have said this the first time, but please, you're, you're welcome to take your knees down. You don't have to do all the push-ups on your feet. If you want a little bit more support, you can tap the knees down. How are we doing? How are you guys doing? I love being able to, thanks Cadley. <laughs> I love being able to teach you guys um, virtually on Zoom, but it is a little tough not being able to see your faces and get feedback immediately. So I like coming over to the computer and checking in occasionally. I see you smiling, Vivian, but you're always smiling, so. <laughs> okay, so you guys got a little break there as I chit-chatted. Um, reach your hands towards the back of the room. We're gonna take a locust pose. So for this, you interlace your fingers at the base of your spine. If you have trouble catching your fingers here, you could always do what we did at the beginning of class and push your palms together like you're touching a block. If you got the interlace, roll your shoulders up, back, and down, and then lift your chest off of the floor. Reach the spine towards the back of the room. You might lift the legs up. So getting into the back body, once again, into the upper back. If your legs are lifted, you're also using the hamstrings and the glutes. Take one more inhale. Exhale, release it. Take your right cheek down to the floor. Release your hands. And one more. Turn your gaze to face the floor. Interlace your hands. See if you can take the opposite thumb on top, if you can remember. And then shoulders roll up, back, and down. Think of reaching the chest forwards, lifting the legs, maybe. But keeping the low back long, so don't let your legs so high that your um, low back starts to cramp up. Instead, see if you can engage the glutes, squeeze the glutes and the hamstrings. Take one more breath in, and breath out, release it. Take your left cheek down. You might sway your hips side to side. And then downward facing dog for one. One last standing sequence. Reach your right leg up and back on your inhale. Exhale, bring your right knee into your chest. Straighten your right leg, take an inhale. Right knee, right tricep, exhale, try to tap it. Straighten it, inhale. Right knee left, tricep, and then extend your right leg off the mat to the left. Spin your left arm up for fallen triangle. You might lift the right leg up, maybe. Push into the right hand, lift the right hips up higher. Listen carefully, take your left hand to the floor. Lift your left heel, pull the right knee to your chest. And we're gonna come into wild things. So spin the left heel down, step your right foot behind you, turn your hips up to face the ceiling and look towards the right arm. Spinning back onto your right hand, you'll step your right foot forwards. So you'll wind up in a runner's lunge. Inhale, reach both arms up, high lunge. Sweep your hands back, this time full airplane. So no hook of the thumbs. Lift the left leg up. Even without the bind, can you still find that engagement in the shoulders? So pulling the shoulder blades together and then reaching the heart forwards. On your inhale, stand all the way up, left leg kicks forwards. Warrior three is your exhale, send the left leg back, hands to heart center, or they can reach straight forwards. 
Take a breath in, breath out, fold forwards, bow over your right leg, standing split. Let your head and neck relax. Step your left foot down to meet the right, forward fold. Chair pose, send your hips back, sweep your arms up. Take your hands to the heart center, inhale. Twist to the right on your exhale, hook your left elbow outside your right thigh. Push into your hands, see if you can lift your chest a little bit more. And then lift the right heel, pop up the right heel. We're gonna keep this twist and stand all the way up with it. So press into your left foot, stand up. Once you come to standing, grab a hold of your right knee with your left hand and reach your right arm back. On your inhale, right arm circles down, forwards and up, step your right foot down, left knee into your chest. So we switch legs, the left knee is into the chest now. You guys can't see my head, but you can see my leg. <laughs> Take your left hand to your left knee, and you'll start to open the left leg out to the left. Some of you might toe lock the left foot and straighten the left leg. Reach your right arm out to the right. Slowly bring the left leg back to center. Bend the left knee and we'll switch. So take the right hand outside the left knee. Left arm reaches back. Some of you might grab the left toe, straighten the left leg. So we switched legs. Start to lean forwards, half moon pose, right hand down, left leg goes back. Warrior two. Adjust your legs if you need to. Half bind the left arm. Straighten your right leg, inhale, reverse. Exhale for triangle pose. Maybe shorten your stance, reach the right arm forwards. You can keep the half bind here if you'd like. Bend your right knee enough that you can loop your fingers around the right big toe. And then try to lean back a little bit more. So it's okay if your right knee is bent here. So release your left arm straight up to the sky. Take your left hand down to the floor. You might keep the right fingers around the right toe as you come into side plank. If you've got the right toe, you'll extend the right leg or you'll be in regular side plank. So flip it, step your right foot behind you, turn your hips up towards the ceiling. And then come back to downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Left foot steps forwards. That's not what I meant. Sweep the left leg up and back, take it inhale. Exhale, left knee into your chest. Can't forget this part. Straighten the left leg. Left knee taps, left tricep. Straighten it, inhale. Left knee to right tricep, and then straighten the left leg to the right. Send the right arm up for fallen triangle. Maybe you lift the left foot, maybe you just think about it. Right hand comes down, lift the right heel, and then step the left foot behind you. So you're kind of flipping over. Come back forwards, left hand down, left foot steps forwards. So we'll pause here and make sure we all made it. Left foot is forwards, you're in a runner's lunge. High lunge, sweep up. Airplane pose, sweep back, lean forwards, lift the right leg. So can you find that same action in the upper back and the chest? Squeezing the shoulder blades together. Imagine you are pushing the block together with your palms. And then on, you, on your inhale, you stand up, you kick the right leg forwards. Exhale is warrior three, send the right leg back, hands to heart center. Just one breath in, fold over the left leg, breath out. Let your head relax. Forward folds, right foot meets the left, we'll pause here. Interlace your fingers, so clasp the fingers and then take your hands behind your head. Just let your elbows hang, soften your knees. You might feel some traction along the back of your neck. 
and then release your hands. All right, we'll take this to this, um, this piece slow because I know it's confusing with the switching of the legs. Start in a chair pose, send your hips down and back. Hands to heart, inhale. Twist to the left. Twisting to the left, right arm is outside the left leg. Lean back a little bit, lift your chest. And then lift the left heel. So we want to stand up with this twist. Push into the right leg. Try to keep the twist. And then you release it, grab the left knee with the right hand, reach the left arm back. So we're going to switch legs. See if you can do this in one move. Left hand goes down, forwards and up, right knee comes in. And then take the right knee in your right hand. Open the knee out to the right. Some of you might toe lock the right big toes and straighten the right leg. That side is not good on me, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep the knee. Come back to center and we twist. Left hand grabs the right knee or the outside of the right foot, right arm reaches back. Slowly we come into half moon, so you lean forwards, left hand goes down, right arm reaches up. Lean back a little, lift the chest, land in warrior two. Half bind the right arm, reverse it, inhale, left leg straightens, triangle pose with the right arm behind the low back. Bend into your left knee enough that you can toe lock the left toes. And keep leaning the right shoulder open. Release the right arm, reach it straight up. And then take the right hand to the floor, flip the right heel up. So we're transitioning into side plank. You might take the left foot with you, straightening the left leg. You might ooh, hold on to the left knee, maybe a regular side plank. Wild thing, if you want it, left foot steps behind you, turn your hips up. And downward facing dog. And I'm creating an up dog again. So I'm going to skip the chaturanga, just roll forwards, come into an upward facing dog. And then tap your knees down, find a child's pose. And let's all grab some water. If you haven't been grabbing water, make sure you get a sip. So <laughs> I guess today we're really working on our strength, the muscles of the upper back, the chest, the shoulders, the core. How do we feel about one more set of push-ups? <laughs> Good? Let's do it. <laughs> okay, so I've got a different variation. So by the end of class, you will have done 20 push-ups, which is incredible. Um, but they're all a little bit different. So they work different parts of the body. So the first one we did were regular push-ups. Second one, we did chaturanga push-ups, yogi push-ups. Third ones were really wide push-ups. So all we have left is really close push-ups. So you're gonna come to a plank pose and you'll make a diamond shape, or I guess like a spade shape with your hands. So you bring your pointer fingers and your thumbs together in your plank pose. These are really intense on the triceps. And again, your knees can tap down if you need them to. All right, here we go. Inhale to lower, halfway. Exhale, push up. Four more, inhale. Exhale, push. Inhale to lower. Exhale, press. Two more, inhale. Exhale, good. One more, inhale. Exhale, push up. Tap your knees down. Child's pose, sweep your hands towards the back of the room. No one else is allowed to tag you in this Instagram thing because you're, you're already, you're set. You've done it all. <laughs> Come forwards onto your belly. Ooh. 
one last shoulder opener. So both to strengthen the upper back and then also to kind of um, unwind from all the push-ups and open the chest so we're not rounding the shoulders forward. That's why we're kind of um, using these back bends, these shoulder opens as opposition to all the push-ups. Move on to bow pose, so you'll bend the knees, pull the heels in. And let's reach back with the thumbs facing up. You'll externally rotate the shoulders, thumbs facing up like, like a hitchhiker, and you'll grab the inside of the, of the feet, right around the ankles. And kick into your hands, lift the chest. Take one more breath in. Release the feet, right cheek comes down. You might windshield wiper the knees side to side. And we'll do one more, so straighten the legs. Bend the knees, pull the heels in, so you can start feeling the hamstrings turn on, the glutes turn on. Thumbs point straight up as you reach back. So a little different than usual. Grabbing the inside of the feet, kick into your hands. Try to keep the back of your neck long. So you're just looking down over the nose. One more inhale. And exhale, release it. Straighten the legs, take your left cheek down. Do you guys want to open the window? I feel like it keeps in there. There you go. All right, you know what? Yeah. All right, bring your hands under your shoulders, come to a tabletop. Center your left hand on the mat under your nose, and then inhale, sweep the right arm up to twist open. Exhale, thread the needle, your right arm goes underneath you. Come onto your right cheek. Any variations that you like here, you're welcome to do. I like to crawl my left fingertips forwards and straighten my left arm. You could also half bind the left arm. Bring your left hand back under your left shoulder. Sweep the right arm back up on your inhale. And exhale, right hand goes under your nose. Left arm lifts, inhale. Thread the needle, second side, left arm threads under. Come onto your left cheek and any variations that you took on the first side, you can take here. Bring your right hand back under your right shoulder. We'll twist open one last time on the our inhale. And exhale, take your left hand down. Let's do a couple rounds of cat cow. Just on your own, moving through your bath. And it's a good time to notice if anything shifted since the beginning of practice. Maybe noticing if there's something else that you need. We're gonna do some hip openers after that, but after this, but if anything still feels tight, just take note of that and you'll have some time to do whatever it is that you're still craving. Go up to downward facing dog as you're ready. Right leg goes up and back, inhale. Exhale, right knee outside the right wrist. So make sure the right knee is wider than the hip. And then tuck your left toes under and move the hips back for half pigeon. Try to keep the spine long as you crawl your hands forwards. And you can always come into figure four on your back if that works better for your body. So if your head does not naturally touch the floor like mine, I like to rest my forehead on a block.
Start to bring your hands back down to the mat. Come back to a downward dog. You might shake out the right leg in between sides. And then we'll switch to the left leg as you're ready. So your left leg will reach up and back. And then left knee, outside left wrist. Tuck your right toes. And then we move the hips back away from the left knee. Keeping the spine long as you come down. And as you're ready, you start to bring your hands to the floor. Lift yourself back up. Downward dog one last time. You might shake out the left leg. And however you want to get there, you'll make your way onto your back. So you might hop forward to a seat or you might just tap the knees down, cross the ankles, and come onto your back. And have a block or whatever it is that you're using for a block ready. We're going to uh, set up a supported bridge. So you'll set it up under the low back. The lowest height that you can get it here, Sarah, you probably use this. Just let it support the low back. And turn your palms face up on either side of you. You can keep your feet planted on the floor or you might straighten your legs forwards, letting the heels come down. You might close your eyes. You'll either stay here in your supported bridge or if you're feeling like moving on to something more active, we'll just take two active back bends on the back. So again, either staying here with the block supporting your low back or then walk your feet back to the floor, set the block aside. And bring your heels in just a couple of inches away from your butt, feet are hips width. And for bridge pose, you'll push your feet into the floor and lift your hips up. I'm thinking of reaching your heart towards the back of your mat. Pressing your palms into the floor, pressing your triceps down. So using the back body. Take one more breath in. Breath out, come back onto your back. If you're in a supported bridge, stay exactly as you are. If you just came out of regular bridge pose, take your feet together, let your knees knock open wide. You're taking a second active back bend with me. Place your feet back on the floor. 
Lift up into a bridge with your hips up in the air. Might roll your shoulders underneath you and interlace your hands, getting a little bit more of a lift and an openness in the chest. Or for wheel pose, you might take your hands on either side of your ears, hug the triceps in and push into the hands. Lifting your hips and your chest off of the floor, straightening your arms, but keeping your head at your neck relaxed. Take one more breath in your bridge or your wheel pose. And on your breath out, you'll roll back, go into your back. If you just came out of bridge or wheel, take your feet to the edges of the mat and knock your knees in. If you're still on a supported bridge, you're welcome to stay there, but if you'd like to come out and come into a reclined twist with us, you'll start to take your hips off of the blocks up on the wrong side. We'll hug our knees into our chest. Just let your knees fall to the right. Let your left arm open, soften the left shoulder. You can switch sides. You'll bring your knees back into your chest. Let them fall off onto the left side. Let the right shoulder soften up to the right. Your knees come back to center, hug them both in, and come back to whatever it was that, if anything, you thought you might need before finishing your practice. I will offer you either a Supta Baddha Konasana, so soles of the feet together, knees open wide, or something more active, a happy baby. You could also, if you want to relax the legs a little bit more, take a supported or more active inversion. So grabbing a block, placing it under your low back, and then extending your legs up towards the ceiling. And of course, if there's anything else that you're craving, it doesn't have to be what I've offered right now. Nate, that's the cutest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> if you've got a puppy, you could kiss it. <laughs> and whenever you feel like you've had enough, you'll release what you've got. You might get up to turn off the light or you can grab a towel or a shirt or something handy and just drape it over your eyes. And if you're still listening to the playlist with me, make sure you switch it to the last song on the playlist. So that's the Shavasana song. And so we're all going to take a few moments here together in silence. Just being still and see if you can allow yourself to be okay with this stillness, to be okay with not moving, not doing anything. Take a big breath in through your nose and exhale. Shavasana.
begin to make your way back to your body. Starting to deepen your breath. You might find some movement. And bringing yourself back to this present moment in the room that you're in. You start to find your way to a seat. Try to keep your eyes closed. And take your hands palm over palm on top of your heart. And just notice the energy of your heart beating underneath your hands. And bring to mind someone that you care about whether they are with you or not this evening. And just imagine yourself sending some of your positive energy to that person, wherever it is that they are. And allowing that to let you feel a little bit more connected, even if you're not together in this moment. And bring your palms together and lift your thumbs up to your forehead. And we'll send some energy, positive energy and gratitude to each other. All of this on this Zoom right now, practice together. We'll bow to each other and say namaste. Namaste. Thank you. I hope your shoulders and your chest feel open and they will feel sore tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> um, today's class was really hard. I'm craving a little bit hip opening now. So I think on Thursday's class, that's what I'm feeling with some hip opening. If you are feeling something in particular for any of the other classes this week, you can please let me know and I'll make sure to work it in. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Christine. Thank you, Patricia. I just shout out everyone I haven't seen. Daphne, Sarah, Thank you, Patricia. Thank Lovely. you. Octavia. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. Bye. Bye.